Hey there gang, Patrick King here, coming to you live from Rome, New York, teaching over here the next couple days at Whisperwind Equestrian Center. Today's question is a fascinating one to me, and it's coming from Becky. And Becky says, I bought a yearling AQHA quarter horse gelding, which is now a three-year-old. He's progressing wonderfully, but I'd like your perspective on a sticky point. He's always shown some resistance at trailer loading. He will always load after five or ten minutes. He has a little trouble staying in. Initially, I felt it was a lack of confidence with the trailer, but now that the weather has allowed me to practice on obstacles, I think that his unconfidence is more for anything that is front feet touch that is not on solid ground. For example, a teeter-totter the water box. He willingly backs into his stall and will confidently squeeze between anything. Staying in the trailer while the floor can move seems to be the trigger rather than going in the box. I'm very patient and I give him lots of time. I use feet as a reward once he's in place. Am I on the right track? Maybe he'll take more time to gain the confidence that he needs. So this to me, Becky, is an absolutely fascinating question and I would imagine that there are other folks out there that are dealing with this as well. And one of the things uh, that we have to think about with the work that you've done, as you said, you've built his confidence with obstacles, with different situations such as that. Uh, but one of the things, again, we have to take this into consideration, the horse's hooves, one of their purpose is to basically act as a sensory organ, all right? So he's feeling an instability there when his front feet are not touching the ground. It's, I think it's exactly what you're thinking right there. Um, I would liken it to maybe some people are more overly sensitive in elevators or on escalators, right? It's a sensory issue. Um, it sounds like that's what your horse is going through and it's not all too uncommon, okay? Um, so I believe this is going to take more time. It's a huge confidence with the sensory changes. So you're on the right track with uh, helping to expose him to different obstacles, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Different terrains, different footings is going to be helpful for him. Another thing that I would highly recommend, if you haven't already looked into this, my friend Wendy Murdoch has developed a really interesting um, pad basically that a, a horse will stand on. She calls them sure foot pads. I'm going to put the link uh, to that in the comments section below this video so that you can access those. They're kind of fascinating in how they sort of help to connect the horse mind and body, all right? Um, and I just kind of have a hunch, uh, Becky, that it's something that might help your horse in this situation. I've used it in, I've used these pads in trailering situations where horses have been really nervous once they get into the trailer. I've, uh, you know, allowed them to stand on these pads outside the trailer as well as inside the trailer and I've found a lot of success with that. So if I were to give you a recommendation, it would be to look into those pads. Again, um, they're called Surefoot Pads, available through my friend Wendy Murdoch. And again, I'm going to put the link to that in the comment section below this video. So, uh, so yeah, Becky, you're on the right track. Uh, time, repetition, experience, exposure, those are all things that I think your horse needs at this, at this point to help him get over that hypersensitivity uh, to his feet not being on stable ground. So hopefully that's helpful to you uh, and anybody else out there who might be dealing with a situation like that, uh, patience, time, exposure, experience, those things. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you've had a challenge similar to this, please share this video. Um, and if you have a friend who might have a challenge similar to this, please tag them in the comment section below this video so that they can get a little help from that as well. Uh, question of the day. Um, since we're talking about obstacles and trailering, what's your horse's big arch nemesis obstacle? Water box, teeter-totter, I don't know, horse trailer? Let me know. Share your answers in the comments section below this video. I'm really looking forward to hearing them. Don't forget, gang, you keep sending me your questions, and I'll keep talking about horses. Thanks so much.